what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss on the combustion of planets what do you mean when the planets in somebody's horoscope are combust what is combust bust combust <laughs> welcome back to exotic astrology if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then subscribe to it and if you have any questions queries and comments related to any other videos then please let me know in the comment section or if you have any questions on combustion then also let me know which should be answered by the time you watch this video but if it is not then do not hesitate and if you are interested to do some donation then the link to paypal is there down for the sustenance of the channel then you are most welcome and i request you to share this video with everybody else let us start what do you mean by combustion well technically what is combustion combustion means anything which is burnt am i right physics maybe not <laughs> how does it matter now when we say combustion in astrology it simply means that whenever a planet is very much near to the sun it is known as combust because sun is a very hot planet sun is the king sun represents the ego what we identify with that is ego that's the meaning of sun in astrology ultimately what it refers is what we identify with what we identify ourselves with that is why it is the significator of ego ego is ahankar it does not mean ego on a wrong sense because that is more of rahu ahankar ego arrogance not on that side but ego is anything which you or anybody identifies with suppose i identify with a girl then i am attached to the girl so similarly if i identify with the laptop then i am attached to the laptop how to know if a planet is combust there are different injunction this injunctions in the scriptures that if a planet is in 10 degrees close to the sun then it is considered to be combust some say 5 degrees some say 7 degrees some say that different planets get combust in different degrees near by the sun which means that suppose i take an example of 10 degree suppose sun is in libra 15 degrees and you have any planet which is between 5 to 15 and from 15 to 25 degree of libra in these 20 degrees 10 degrees this side of the sun and 10 degrees the other side it is considered to be combust now some say that the any planet which is in 3 degrees because then it will go to the same navamsha well i will discuss about navamsha later some say that planets like mercury venus get combust in 7 degrees some say saturn gets combust in 15 degrees so there's a confusion there well i will tell you the secret the degree no what will you do by knowing the degree it's just a detail knowing the degree is not going to help you even if i tell you that your venus is in 8 degrees of the sun nearby and it is not combust but if the signs of combustion is coming in your life related to venus which i will discuss then that means that planet is combust either it is 8 degrees or 100 degrees <laughs> it doesn't matter now what happens when a planet is combust that means the planet is very close to the sun that means the rays of the planet which means its influ influence cannot reach us our body our intellect which means in layman's terms that the traits of that planet cannot reach us which means we lack those traits am i clear or there is too much of an over obsession or over indulgence associated with that that planet which is also causing us to burn like fire because anything you get obsessed with burns you 
ultimately right. <laughs> now, when a planet is near to the sun, what does it indicate? It indicates that the sun, the king, the royal head of the system is telling you that I will not let the rays of this planet reach you because I am with him now. <laughs> Which means that there can be too much ego associated with that planet. Too much ego. Which means you cannot see that planet. Whenever you see that planet, only thing you see is the sun, which is the ego. Or too much of a craving of that. And you get obsessed very badly about it. Especially sun, Venus, I have seen these people. The moment they get obsessed with somebody, the opposite sex, that's it. There's havoc in their lives. Because they start to identify themselves with Venus. They are not Venus. They are the sun. <laughs> the moment, the day the sun identifies itself with Venus, it is finished. Because sun gets debilitated in the sign of Venus. Where Saturn gets exalted, it is Libra. Similarly, if sun is making Mercury combust, then the person can be too much egoistic about his knowledge or what he thinks is right and wrong not ready to hear others if it is with jupiter when i say jupiter i mean if jupiter is combust the person can have a very unhealthy optimism of spirituality or unhealthy sense of what is spirituality he may think my process is the only process which is correct no other process is bona fide Everybody will go to hell. Only I will go to the heaven. <laughs> he may think like that. I know people who talk in these terms. Jupiter's son. <laughs> now, there are other meanings. For example, what happens when the rays of that planet or his influence does not reach us? We will lack those traits. So as I said earlier, that I will tell you the secret of knowing if that planet is combust. For example, if any planet is with the sun or it is nearby the sun, if you feel that you are performing very badly in the areas of that planet, well, there are chances it is combust because the sun is not letting those traits be manifested in you because of some of your sinful karmas. <laughs> Does it sound familiar? <laughs> And most of the times, Mercury, Venus are close with the sun. They are very nearby the sun. And most of the times, these two are the only planets which are combust. That is why most of the people in this world have either problems in marriage or in career. Now you understand why. <laughs> but what is the solution? Too many problems, right? What is the solution? Solution is very simple. What does the sun represent? Sun represents spiritual knowledge, spirituality, wisdom. Sun is the significator of astrology, Jyotish. Which goes to tell me that if sun is making a planet combust, which means it is not leaving that planet for you. Leaving means it is not giving away that planet and its traits to you. That means the moment you take to spiritual path, you take to God consciousness, you take to the divine path of the sun, which is enlightenment, sun will release it for you. Why he will not release it? <laughs> he is holding it because of that, to teach you that lesson. Because combustion also means that there is too much focus on the from the ego regarding to that planet. Which means, for example, if Sun and Venus are conjunct very closely, which means the Venus is uh, combust, that means the person has indulged too much in sexuality in his past life. Because he has started, he or she has started identifying himself with Venus now. Sun is no more there. He thinks, he or she thinks that if Venus is not there, I, the sun, cannot exist because the sun is with Venus now. 
Similarly, if mercury is combust, the person may be too much into money, business, too much obsessed, because of which he has developed a conception about himself that if I am not there with money, I do not exist. That is why, because sun is he the person, the self. Whichever planet is closest to the sun, those are the things we have been associating ourselves with the most in the past lives. Because that is what we are ultimately. <laughs> if it is with Ketu, then we have been associating ourselves with spirituality. That is why Sun Ketu conjunction is a great yoga. It's called Shiva Yoga, present in the charts of great rishis and saints. And most of the people have either Mercury or Venus conjunct. That means most of the people they have either indulged too much into things related to Venus or Mercury and sometimes both Mercury and Venus are, con uh, are combust. That means the person has indulged in both of these. And now they have been punished by the sun. That I will not let this planet affect you anymore. Too much is too much. But then what's the solution? You have to obey the sun. When you obey the sun, the sun will release it. If you do not believe me, then try it. Suppose Mars is combust. Then what? Either of the extremes. Either anybody smashes you, thrashes you and you don't say anything. You are like a dead stone. Anybody can walk over you. Or nobody can touch you. You will blow off their heads. <laughs> Either of them is a symptom of a combust, combust Mars. All right. So what is the solution? Solution is follow in the path of the sun. Go towards the divine wisdom. Follow spirituality. Inquire about God. Do what the sun wants you to do. And then... You will see that the results of the planets which are so-called combust <laughs> will not affect you anymore. And that's what I said. How to know if the planet is combust? Irrespective of the degrees. Suppose the planet is 7-8 degrees. Check if you lack those states. If you are suffering in that area, then chances are it is combust. All right. And especially if Jupiter is combust, it is very important that we take to spirituality because Jupiter is the significator of children. Before we get married, we should be situated spiritually very strongly. Otherwise, this will probably affect the way our children come up, which we will, which we would not like generally. Yes. <laughs> why? Why Jupiter? Why not Saturn? Why not Venus? Why not Mercury? Why not Mars? Anybody? All right. So that is it from my side, combustion of planets. And there is one thing I forgot to tell. Some people say that Mars is more fiery than the sun. That, that's why the, Mar the planet Mars cannot be combust. Because it itself has more fire than sun. But again, as I said, keeping aside all the debates, check your horoscope and check your life. More than your horoscope, your life will be a living example of which planet is combust if it is very close to the sun. There may be thousand other reasons why the planet is not doing good in your chart. But I am saying specifically related to combustion if there are symptoms like as I mentioned in this video then there are chances that the planet is combust. Okay. So take the precautionary measures and protect yourself from the fire of the sun as I said. All right, by following in his path, by following the light of the wisdom, the sages and the rishis and by delighting in God consciousness. If you have any questions, queries and comments, then let me know in the comment section. Or if you have heard anything about combustion, because in the classics, there are so many things mentioned about combustion. There are so many videos in youtube okay if your planet is combust this will happen that will happen if your venus is combust then you will have a divorce you will not get married you will have to stay celibate rest of your life if mercury is combust your job is finished it's all rubbish maybe they are true until you do what i have said just now if you just do that 
you will see the sun releases the planet. All right. Until next time. Bye-bye. See you.